Hey guys, this is Tash the Starcross Stitcher. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm great, thanks. I just got home from work and it was a really long day, but I'm glad to be home now. Um, this is my 1000 subscribers video, yay! Um, thank you all for subscribing, if you have. I really appreciate it. It's really weird, um, <laughs> but it's good. I'm glad that so many people want to see what I'm stitching on, so that's good. Um, the first thing I want to say before I forget because I always forget things, is that, you know, the book that The Red Skies at Night Mirabilia is from, it's The Wichelt 40 Years. That is on sale on One Chicory Stitch at the moment for $19.99, um, this book. Um, so if anyone wants to get the book, now would probably be a good time. That's a lot cheaper than, a lot cheaper than what I paid for it. Um, and if you're planning on ordering from there anyway, you know, you could throw some threads in to make it worth the postage if you're posting to Australia. Kit up, kit this up maybe. Just saying. Just saying, um, because I know a lot of people have said, where did I get the book from? And I just wanted to let you know that it's on special. And I think that's a good price because it's cheaper than what I paid. Okay. Uh, I don't have that much to go through today. I'm just going to show you my progress. Um... I showed you a finish in the last video, or the video before maybe, I don't know. Uh, then I'm going to show you some haul that I got because my dad got back from the States and brought me some of my stuff and it's fun. I look really weird. Um, and then I'm going to move on to the giveaways. Plural. I've got a few things to give away. Okay, so. So, let's do it. <laughs> um... I've been working on the Prairie School alphabet. I'm still on the letter A and it's taking me forever. This is kicking my butt. It is taking me so long. The, uh, hmm. Yeah, doing this area down here has taken me like four days, like probably eight hours of stitching. I don't know why, it just takes so long. Um, but I'm at least enjoying it now. This bit down here looks really cute. The top part was like really boring, but now it looks really cute. I have to fill in the fishy faces and finish off this tentacle here for the octopus or squid or whatever this is um, and then A will be done so I'll have a finish I've said for the last three nights it should be finished tomorrow so maybe tonight let's see let's see um, if I finish it I'll post a picture on Instagram and I'll make a video tomorrow and show you um, and then I'll start B um, so my finish will be straight away replaced with a new start it's B is for blackbird so yeah that's by the Perry Schooler. And look how big this fabric is. I mean, my god. I don't know if you can even see. I can't see through the fabric because it's really thick, but it's big! Anyway, this is going to be really nice when it's done though. It'll be like a quilt. And I think I'm going to make it into a quilt. I've probably already said that. I don't remember. Okay, so I'll talk about the haul. So I've been ordering this stuff I ordered this stuff quite a while ago, most of it. Um, my dad just went to the States last week for work and he picked all this stuff up from his work address. So I've got it from, I've ordered from emlis, E-M hyphen L-I-S dot com, I think. Um, and she had a sale on her um, Needles Praise chart. So I bought a few. The Needles Praise, if you're not sure, is Darlene Osteen, who designed the Celtic sampler that I'm doing, this one. This one that everybody loves because it's beautiful. Yep, this is the Needles Praise. So I have a few of her charts now. A few more of her charts now. Anyway, I got this one, Little by Little. Quaker Strawberry. Sorry for the glare. Quaker Rose. I know there's also a Quaker Blackbird and a Quaker Garden and they're really sweet so I'll be hunting those down as well. Um, little by Little Black Sheep. Isn't that cute? Baba Black Sheep. I think it's really sweet. It's just really um, quirky the way it's all laid out. I think it's cute. Um, I got another silk gauze. Ooh. I'm going to add something else to the giveaway. Okay. <laughs> I got another silk gauze kit chart. Um, I thought this came with this piece of silk gauze, but it does not. I really thought it did. But that's okay because I have tons of silk gauze. Yeah, okay, I'm adding something to the giveaway. I'll get that out in a minute. <laughs> so, um, this is the Humility Sampler by The Needles Praise, and this is so pretty. Um, as you know, I love white work, so this is going to be amazing. I can't wait to do it. 
I love it. This is I'm missing one. Oh, there we go. Yeah. This is also by the Needles Prey. This is strawberry sampler, and this whole thing is just um, running stitch, like black work, sort of, sort of. It's just running stitch. I actually think I will start this pretty soon. Um, I'm just going to do it on cream linen. It calls for um, a Verisois silks, I think. Um, but I might just sub it out for DMC. Because um, it's really detailed and pretty. And it'll be fun. And I think because it's just running stitch, it should be kind of not kind of quick. Famous last words, I know. Um, we'll see. And then this one, which I'm kind of in love with. I'd never heard of this. It's, it's by Threads of Gold Sampler Reproductions. And it's called... 1724mh sampler and I think it's so pretty I don't know I, I really I obviously really like squares with different designs in them as you can tell but yeah that's nice um, the other thing I got was all of the rest of the Berlin Woolwork sampler charts um, which are also by the Needles Praise. They're at my mum's house at the moment um, because she's keeping them together. She wants to buy all of the silks. <laughs> she we're going to do it together. She wants us both to stitch it in silks. So she's going she's going to the US next month. So she's probably going to kit it up while she's over there. So this will be a, a Christmas present for us. Um, the reason why I think this is crazy is because the number of colors there are and the price of the silks is going to cost about seven hundred dollars. Okay, moving on. I got. The Drawn Thread and Open Heart, which is very pretty. I don't know if you can see all the detail in those bands. It's really pretty. And it came with the silk pack. Got this on eBay for like $30, I think. You get some good things on eBay, I'm telling you. And then the last thing was, this turned out to be a lot bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> um, it is called The Enchanted Needlework by Joan Gant. I don't know how well you can see that. I don't want to open it because it's still sealed. Uh, this was like $16, I think. Look at that. <laughs> Everything's in here. The canvas is in here too. It's got the pattern. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. The pattern is actually printed on the canvas. Um, there are instructions in there, thank God, because I have no idea how or where to start on this. Um, I've, I've got a couple of needle... needle What's this called? Counted Needlepoint. I have a couple of Counted Needlepoint charts um, that I've been wanting to try. Uh, this one was cheap, so I thought it might be a good one to try, but it actually doesn't look that easy. I don't know. I'm a bit scared of it. <laughs> and I know I just had a rant a few videos ago about not being scared of, ne of anything needlework. Um, yeah, I don't know. All these different kinds of threads are so interesting. Like, I don't know if you can see that this here is like... It's like different lengths, different, sorry, thicknesses along the length, like wool sometimes gets. And then there's some gold metallic somewhere. Where is it? There. There's a spool there. Um, lots of different sort of pearls and interesting things. I can see some beads in the back there. You probably can't quite see. Yeah, lots of really weird, interesting things in here. So it'll be interesting at least. Um, and it didn't cost me $50 or $30, it cost me about half of that. So that's good. eBay, again. eBay is good. So, that's what I got for my haul. It's exciting. Um, so, I was, I noticed everybody's been doing the 20 facts about me. Um, and I decided that I can't even think of 20 facts. Um, not up front at least. So, I might do one fact about me for the next few videos. Um, I won't do one today because I haven't thought of one to share with you but the next time I do a video and every time I do a video for the next little while I might do a fact about me because I don't talk about my life very much I realize that um, but I'd like to so I will <laughs> um, yeah um, I'm also going to do the husband tag even though Tim is not my husband he'll still play along and do the husband tag for me um, because I think he actually listens to me when I talk about cross stitch, so I think he'll do pretty well. Okay, I'm just going to pause this and get ready the extra gift that I just remembered I was going to give away. So, I'll be right back. Hey, I think I'm back. Yes, I'm back. The clock is ticking. Okay, <laughs> let's get on to the giveaway. Giveaway! Giveaway! Okay, the rules for the giveaway are don't say giveaway because that just attracts the spammers who 
create fake competition entries. I've been meaning to say that um, the person I sil sent the Vietnamese silk to received it and so thank you very much. The person who I drew for the Firefly Fairies never answered my contact um, attempts. The second person also never answered me. The third person finally did answer me and I got her the chart in the mail to her a week and a half ago. Yeah, it was Friday a week and a half ago. So. Um, and that that one might be slow because I don't think I specified to send it airmail. Um, so I can't remember your name. <laughs> um, but if it was you, it's on the way. Hope you enjoy it when you get it. Anyway, let's... So the rules for this giveaway... Oh my god, I'm so disorganized. The rules for this giveaway are... Don't say giveaway. I will tell you, as I show you each thing, there's six different things here. You can only win one of the things. You can put your name down for as many of the things as possible. As I show you the thing, I will tell you what word to leave in your comment. So you'll leave a comment and you'll use the word that I tell you to use. Um, so, uh, what else? You can live anywhere in the world, that's fine. I'll post to you anywhere. Um, you can only win one thing, so whatever order I draw them out in, if you win the first thing, then you'll be, if you get drawn again for any of the later things I draw, um, I'll draw it again because you can only win one thing. <laughs> okay, so let's get started showing you the things. The first thing, the thing that I just thought of as adding to the giveaway, is a silk gauze chart. It's called the little, sorry, it's called the Yellow House Sampler by Threads Through Time, and I have actually stitched this one and I've shown it before. Uh, it looks like this. See how tiny it is? It's so cute. So I will send you not only the chart, but I will also send you a piece of silk gauze to stitch it up like this, about this big. This is 40 count. I have quite a lot of 40 count silk gauze, so I'll send you a piece to stitch this on. So if you would like to win the silk gauze chart and fabric, it's just stitched with DMC. If you would like to win this, please put the word yellow, yellow, the color yellow, that word there. Put that in your comment and you'll be entered to win this. Okay. The second thing I have, I bought this such a long time ago, like 10 years ago, and I don't think I even liked it at the time. I don't know what I was thinking. A lot of people were stitching it. It was very popular. I saw someone, and I really can't remember who, and I feel terrible. Somebody recently just finished this on Floss Tube. Um, it is called Skeleton Crew by the Cricut Collection. Uh, don't know what else to say about it. It's obviously a ghost ship. I love this little witchy on the bow, on the bow. Is that the bow? A witchy instead of a mermaid. So cute and like ghostly sails, and a jack o' lantern. <laughs> okay. Anyway, if you would like this chart, it's just a chart. If you would like the chart, leave the word ghost in your comment, and then you'll be entered to win that one. Uh, the next one, this is also a really old one. I think it's out of print. It's a Teresa Wensler. It's called the Castle Sampler. Um, and the reason I'm giving this away is because I have this chart already in the, um, I think it's in, yeah, the Fantasy Collection Volume 1, which I have. So if you would like this chart, the Castle Sampler by Teresa Wensler, um, just type the word castle in your comment. The next one I have is the Prairie Schooler. I'm pretty sure this one is also out of print. Um, it's that nice hard cardboard, it's not the flimsy paper. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is out of print from my research and I also saw that it was for sale on one, on one website for $60, which is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, if anyone wants this, there's three charts in it. I think it's really cute. It's called The Village Green, by the way. If you would like to win this, please use the word rooster. Rooster. Um, and then you can win this. The next one I have is, I have it in her designs. Um, this again, I bought this paper chart. It's a, it's a real proper one. There's a price tag on it and it's all printed out and it's sealed nicely. I've never even opened it. Um, it's not a pirated copy. Um, yeah, I bought the paper version years ago and then just in the last Heaven and Earth Design sale, I bought the digital version. Good job, me. Um, so this is... Uh, Garden of Delight by William Morris um, and it's really pretty in my opinion I think it's gorgeous um, it is 350 wide by 529 high so it's big not as big as Heaven and Earth Designs get but it's big 
So if you would like this, please use the word tree in the comment. And last but not least will be the drawn thread. This is stars. This is my last finish that I showed you in my last video and it's just over there and I'm want, I'll go and get it and show you. Any excuse to show you my pretties? This is stars by the drawn thread. And the chart actually has two different versions. I have, in one version, the version I've stitched, there's a verse at the top and a verse halfway down. Um, and then the other charted version has just the alphabet at the top and then the verse down lower. So this is what it looks like. Um, if you win this, you'll also get some little buttons that I used. I accidentally bought 12, I didn't realise I only needed 6. So there are 6 buttons left for you to stitch it with. These buttons that I used are a little bit bigger than what they called for, but they seem to be fine. If you can see them between the houses there, on those vines. Um, so if you would like to win this, please use the word star in your comment. Okay, so that's the 6 things. If you're under 18, just get your parents to enter for you. Um, it's not like I'll ever know, really. Um, and also, I will be checking if you're a subscriber. Just because this is meant to be a thank you for the, a thousand subscribers and all you people who subscribed. So yeah, I'll go through a summary. Stars. You have to say stars if you want this. If you want this one, say tree. If you want this one, say rooster. If you want this one, say castle. I think it was castle. This one, ghost, and this one, yellow. Okay, <laughs> yep, that's six things. Okay, that's it, guys, that's all I've got to say. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you're getting lots of stitching done. I'm way behind on my floss tube videos. I'm like up to the 12th of June, I think, and it's the 5th of July today. I've got a lot of catching up to do. Um, oh, it stresses me out. My watch later list is up to, let me refresh and see, like probably more than 300. Yeah, 369. 369. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I have a, a bit of work to do to catch up. I've got a bit of stitching to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to start the Blackbird and then when I'm done with that, I'm not sure what I'm going to stitch next. I might try and finish off the Bella B. Mirabilia Bella B, or I might go back to um, the Wallace, the Celtic sampler. This one, I don't know. I should probably work on this because I haven't for a while. Um, yeah, so that's all guys. That's my plans. That's all I have to say. I'll see you next time. Bye!